Okay, so when you open Illustrator, you will be presented with this welcome screen to open a previous project or create a new project. By the way, if you ever get done early, there's very wonderful tutorial videos down here to do at your leisure. Okay, so we will start out with a new document. Inches. Title this with your last name and period number. It doesn't matter that much because. Okay, so this is a very simple process. We are just going to use the type tool and touch down, make a text frame, start typing every character on the keyboard starting with the tilde key. Hold down the shift key to get all of the capitals and other characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, etc. etc. Until you finally get every character available on the keyboard. Okay, so now we typed out this whole alphabet of everything. By the way, there's other characters available if you go to type and glyphs. Glyphs! Here's a whole bunch of other options available to you. Type glyphs. Okay, so now we have this whole alphabet that we typed out. We will then use just the regular selection tool and select our text. I'll shorten this up and possibly use the zoom tool zoom in a little bit. We may not want to use this font. Let's pick a different font, but before we do that, let's go to Edit, Copy. While this is selected, and Edit, Paste. I'd like to have many options. So we will select this first alphabet and go to type font and we want to pick the style of font that we want to use for our design elements because we will be making an image using pieces or characters. So these alphabet characters we just created our live type which means you can double click and change the characters or the font remember type font okay so now let's select the font style we would like to use always keep a spare alphabet if you want to have more to choose from later. I will select this one. I'm happy with this font. I will now turn this live font into pieces of vector art. Individual pieces of sizable artwork. So to do that the trick is type create outlines so now all of this font 
is individual pieces of artwork which cannot be changed at this point. They're all grouped together. To ungroup object ungroup. Now it looks like nothing happened. However, if you click off the selection and you can reselect individual pieces. Grab a corner and start sizing. So now that I have these individual characters turned into vector art that I can then resize, I'm going to go command minus or plus to zoom in and out. I might just select all these characters and move them off the artboard. Now it's my job to select these characters and make some art. Okay, now I may just grab these live type alphabets, move them off the artboard as well. A couple things to know before you start. You can grab a corner size things. If you want to have your item stay the same, hold down your shift key while you size and it won't distort. Or if you get really close to a corner when you get the double arrows, you can then rotate. Now let's say uh, you want the same item Control C, Control V. You can copy and paste and do the same thing. Now, once you start moving things around, you should hopefully have an idea of what it is that you would like to create. As a helpful hint, if you're happy with one piece of your artwork, you can hold down your shift key and select multiple items and go to object and then group. Then your selected items will size and move together and you can do additional things. Also, if you're done with your group, object ungroup, click off and they will be separated, if that helps.